A foggy West Coast morning sets the stage for day three of X Games Ventura as we welcome you now to the Women's Skateboard Park on the Sonic Park course. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside my partner, Amelia Brodka. And Amelia, can't wait for this one. All eyes, though, will be on Arissa True. That's right. Arissa is truly changing the game. She's doing NBDs, tricks that have never been done in this field before. Not only did she do the 900, she's doing Mick Eggs, she's doing Switch 540s, and you'll see her put together a really powerful line in this course that is so technical. Just the approach from trick to trick in itself is a trick. She's going for double gold, potentially, too, with Women's Skateboard Vert a little later today. Don't count out, though, Kokono Haraki, perhaps no one more consistent in part than Kokono. Kokono missed the podium last year. It was the first time she's ever missed an X Games podium. A major upset. That's definitely going to put fuel under her belt to be able to secure a spot on the podium. She's got beautiful nose grinds. She's got very technical tricks and that's all gonna be on display here today. Well, before we get ready to set it off, let's head over to the third member of our team out on the course, Mitch Tomlinson. Mitch, who do you have eyes on out here today? Thank you guys. Now, call me biased, but a lot of my money is put on the Aussies. You guys were just talking about Arissa, but we can definitely not forget about Ruby True. Debut X Games, we're into the finals. Leading into this, it's been a big few months, but right now, this is what counts. Yeah, for sure. I'm so excited to be competing here in the the finals and yeah, can't believe I'm skating here with all these girls. Everyone's ripping and I can't wait. Well, we're excited to get this thing going, and that's what it's all about, right? I mean, you talk about this field, so many youngsters, some X Games rookies, and a lot at stake here to earn this gold medal as we look at our roster here. It is a really great roster to see. Ruby True, who we just saw, is new to X Games, so to make it to her finals on her debut is a big statement. And keep your eyes out for Misuho Hasegawa. She has power and style to match. This You're is going to be Fuji, by the way, who will be the first to drop in. 18 years old, the oldest competitor in our field today. That is impressive, and Yurin has a beautiful style that you're about to see. She's a really great transition skater. She's got a very unique 540. We hope to see that today. There's such a flow nameness to her style. There's also a confidence in the way she carries herself on this course. You can check it out now. Here's Yurine. Blasting 360 over that gap, piecing the park together already. First time we saw Yurine was she submitted a video to the Exposure Video Park contest and she won two years in a row. Nice layback air on the extension there. There it is, there it is! Oh. <laughs> Okay, so the axis on that 540 is what's really interesting. It's kind of really straight up and down. There's a flip to it. It's very different than most 540s that you'll see. Maybe most similar to Moto's. Yeah, that's a really good point on the men's side. As we take another look, Yurin has one X Games medal, a bronze she earned in Japan last year. You know, last year she did the biggest trick of this event, and the, the judges didn't like it. And the whole crowd booed the judges. So that, you know, she's a crowd favorite, clearly. So here now, Hinano Kusaki in her second X Games appearance. Oh, oh coming in hot, starting with the Melon 5. Uh, we gonna take it Mellow on run one? Nah, Melon 540 right out the gate, Amelia. So, by the way, only one of these runs counts. So the Good format point. is they each get three shots to give their best run. So we always see it. How are you gonna go? You gonna try and put down just a solid run, get the confidence level up and stack from there? Or do you just come firing from run one? And uh, as you can see, she had the ladder plans. Here now, Lily Stefasius. Lily put down some really rad tricks yesterday at Women's Burton Best Trick. She did a cab burial. And 
there, that goes to show you, she can flip the board with her hands in a variety of different ways. She did the cap burial yesterday. She was going for the finger flip to tail right there. She did that in her elimination run. So I'm sure that we're going to see her put it down one of these runs. Yeah, we've seen Lily invert, but this is the first time we've seen her in a park final at X Games. Now, Mizuho Hasegawa in her third X Games appearance. A silver medal last summer. That was actually her first time out of the country. And ever since then, she said she's just fallen in love with traveling. And Which that's all thanks to skateboarding. Which would make sense because she was 12 last year. <laughs> that's a good point. So, so far, yet to find a full pool out here today. Will that change as we get to the midway point here in run number one? on the Sonic Park course. So that score coming in at a 22.33, but that's why you get two more runs. Speaking of which, let's talk comp format. We've got eight skateboarders out here, three runs each, 45 second runs, and that best single run counts. As you said, Amelia, all you need is one. And what the judges are looking for is for you to use the entirety of the park. So if you see a unique feature on the course, like there's a sonic sign, they want to see you hit that. That's going to give you way more points. you got to not just do the most technical tricks, but really do them all over the park. We're excited to watch this X Games rookie put it down. 14-year-old Lily Erickson from Oahu. There's Lily Erickson grinding over at Love Island. That thing is definitely not just the love seat because it's at least 12 feet long. Nice blunt fakie into the L twist. Super technical there. And the way that she pokes that back foot out on that stale fish, that's got a lot of people talking. Lily won the Exposure 2023 Bowl event. Oh, there it is, the kickflip Indy wow. putting it down on the last trick. She looks like she surprised herself. What a way to start her first X Games Finals. Welcome to the X Games, Lily Erickson, as we take another look. Lily is NAR, co-signed. Says she looks up to Hemana Reynolds and Hunter Long, two former X Games skateboarders from Oahu as well. There it is, flipping it perfectly in her hand. She could not have done that any better. And that reaction says it all. A score of 71 for Lily. So the 14-year-old jumps up into first place after her first run. So getting ready to drop it now, Kokona Haraki. Oh, uh, here's an amazing moment for her. She loves baseball and actually got to throw out the first pitch at a fighter's home game just a couple of months ago in April. Starting off with a back trail. But what is it about Kokona's skateboarding, Amelia? As you said, she was podium perfect up until last summer. That just makes her so consistent in a park course. Well, she has really technical tricks, and the way that she does them is what truly stands out. She's got this great style, like you saw the back nose grind, that she was the first one in this field really doing those and doing them properly. So getting on top, popping back in, and you know, that was something that was a beautiful introduction of Kokona, just seeing that nose grind when she first came on the scene. So we're in the midst of run one here in the Women's Skateboard Park Final on the Sonic Park course. And it's the rookie, Lily Erickson, holding the lead with a couple of skaters left to drop in for their final first runs. Ruby True, 15 years old. Another of our X Games rookies. I stayed at Ruby's house when she was like seven years old out in Australia. Had a mini ramp in the yard, and her parents have just been so supportive of her skating. She's been competing in skating and surfing since she was six years old. Nice, grabbing Weddle. Oh, the oh. front 
My. Rock slide. Okay, it went a little wild on her, but that in itself is a wild trick because you're sliding backwards, and to do it that many pool blocks long, and then to do a picture-perfect sad plant like we just saw, that oh. that is a really rad trick selection from Ruby. Amelia, nothing about that looked like someone dropping in for her very first X Games run in a final. Well, you know, when you start competing at age six, <laughs> I think that does a lot for your uh, competition strategy. Yeah, a seasoned contest veteran now at 15 years old is Ruby True, but oh, gosh, look at this. so much to yes. like about this. Jeff Grosso's somewhere up there smiling right now. So Ruby True nearly completing that run to <laughs> near perfection, a 63.33 for Ruby. Good enough for second place. So now, dropping in, an owner of two X Games gold medals, including one in this event last year, the one and only Arissa True. So when we talk about use of the course, her starting up at the mini ramp and doing that transfer in, that is definitely a technical line. Oh, right into a perfect 540. Boning out the in the air over the box. Nice. Getting up on the sub box. The judges definitely want to see that. Again, Arissa trying to go for double gold today in both park and vert. Getting started out here on the Sonic Park course. You know, she says she actually likes vert better, and uh, she just skates park because she kind of feels like she has to because there's so many park events happening, and clearly she's really talented at it. You know, a lot of times you'll see people struggling to adapt their vert tricks to a park because it's so much smaller, but she does not seem to have a problem with it. Absolutely not. A 53.66, I have no doubt Arissa True will absolutely improve upon that. Coming up on run number two. We're just getting started here on the Sonic Park course. Much more to come, but the young Lily Erickson leading the way after run number one. Much more from Ventura after this word from our ABC stations. So run number two time here on the Sonic Park course, Yurene Fuji sitting in fourth place. I hope she lands that five, because I want to see it in slow motion and really dissect it. But wow, the amplitude on that 360 over the gap, it was so well done. Nice transferring back over to the other side. Her speed and style lend it so well to skating this course here today. Yeah, and it looks like a tricky course to keep your speed up right. in. Yes! Oh. Oh. It looked like she extended her legs like a little bit too early, so she was, trying, yeah, she was trying to meet the transition before it was really time. So it was close. The, you know, the commitment was there, and that is key. And I think on the last run that she, she has... Did she do it on the final run? I think she's going to give us one. A 52 for Yureen, so she will stay in fourth place. Hinano Kusaki. Doing it for opera skateboards and starting with a big trick right off the top. Yes! What? <laughs> what a way to make a statement. Leaves no doubt about it this time. And that front feeble, that's a really technical grind to put through that corner. And the saran wrap with power, too. Speaking of speed, she's definitely keeping I see the speed. speed. I see the power. I see the tech prowess, Amelia. And if I'm seeing it, you know the judges are seeing this. Oh, yeah, definitely. She snuck in a body jar there, which is a really uh, terrifying <laughs> trick. That's why it gets that name. And then the back three transfer. Oh, oh no, just falling off with 10 seconds. Good go. 
We'll see. We'll see you next time. Was on that dream run for her. Apparently, on her local park, they call her Demoness. <laughs> I could see it. You very, can see it. Very and, fit. And you mentioned being on opera skateboards. I mean, that team's got some slayers on it. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> She can't believe how close she was. And the judges loved it, by the way. 69.66, that puts her all the way up in the second place, Amelia. I mean, look, if you're starting your run with a big five, you're keeping your speed, and you're doing technical lip tricks, that's a dream. We welcome you back to the Women's Skateboard Park Final on the Sonic Park course. Run two has just started going down. And there's a look at our standings and leading the way, an X Games rookie, Lily Erickson. And let's head over to Mitch out on the course. Who's with Lily? Someone that's no stranger to being on a skate park at the beach, Lily Erickson currently sitting in first place. Okay, kickflip Indy. Stale fish with a nice tweak. What else do we have in the bag of tricks that we're going to see today? Well, I might go for a half cap blunt, blunt, half cap blunt. That's like my favorite combo, so hopefully we'll see that in here. <laughs> Currently leading the race. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Love how polite Lily is here at her first X Games. That's our current leader. Oh, we've got some street royalty in the house, Amelia. We've got Miu Ito and Yumeka Oda, and we've got Liz Akama. Such a rad crew. I love that they're all watching park together. Yeah, when they're not earning X Games medals in their discipline, they're out here watching the rest of the ladies in park. From the podium to the park, Amelia. It's just rad to see the camaraderie amongst all the girls here. They're just supporting each other regardless of what they skate. So Lily Stefasius sitting in seventh place, didn't have a full pool on run one. Does that change here on her second? You know, she's about to be a two-time Olympian. Just qualified for Paris. And also a super talented vert skater. We saw her in the best trick. We saw her at Tony Hawk's Vert Alert. We're going to see her later today. And there we go. That is, that's a testament to her vert skills. You know, she learns those tricks on a vert ramp, the finger flip, lean to tail, and then she could take him to the park. Putting together a good line here using both sides of the course. Nice, lip oh. slide all the way through the corner. So steezy for Lily. Last six seconds. What she got? Big move for the end. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Her signature nose blunt. She's been able to get out of some really treacherous nose blunts, sometimes sitting on top of the vert ramp for 30 seconds before pulling it back in. Yeah, we've seen that. That was the run she was looking for, Amelia. So I actually got a chance to compete with her Years and years ago, we've been competing together for a, a long time, so it's rad to see her come such a long way and be in the X Games Park Don't finals. be so modest. Here's the fun fact I think you were alluding to. In 2018, at age 11, she finished second at the Vans Park Series European Continental Championships behind Amelia Brodka. <laughs> it was a fun event, that's for sure. Wow, Lily taking over first place. That's right, it goes a long way when you finish your run, when you're putting in technical tricks. You know, she's just, she's got it all. She could use a little more speed, I think it'll help. But other than that, she's got a deep bag. We got Lilies at one and two here on the park course. Here now Mizuho. Big 360 over the box. This is a skater with a ton of power. Nice backside grab. Oh, a varial. Right into a crail slide. Lean to tail. She's coached by none other than Tony Magnuson. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> okay, so her trucks fully came off on that. Oh, wow. And she hit the sonic sign. Wow, that was an impressive run from Mizuho. Risk ha factor 100 for Hasegawa. Okay, I can't explain to you enough how scary it is when your back truck slips off of a frontside 50-50 because you might hang up and if you're going to fall into that g giant island yeah. there, oh, that is not a fun fall. You're backwards, a it's a right whole there. thing. Let's take another look. It's 
so good. A lot to like from this run, Amelia. Hey. <laughs> Getting the picture perfect shot there. Yeah, I mean, doing the foot plant on the sign, that's going to do a lot for her. I don't know that anyone else is going to use that. A 74.66 catapulting her all the way up in the silver medal position. I think the execution on that front 50 kind of docked her a little bit. She could have scored higher. Did you just see that shoulder shrug? Yeah. Second place. I think she was disappointed because she slipped off on that 50, you know? I think she wants to score higher and she knows that she can. Huge runs happening right here, right now in the Women's Skateboard Park Final on the Sonic Park course. Me? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Ruby Lily. Check out her monster part. Just came out a few weeks ago. From Ruby, Ruby Lily to Lily Erickson, who's trying to take first place back from Lily Stefasius. What can Lily do to get back up into first place, Amelia? Well, she's gapping up to that lip side, and here's the blunt fakie going for the, yes, the yep. half cap she blunt fakie. And the L twist. That is a really rad combo. Not sure about the kick turn that happened after, but those three tricks pieced together. That's signature Lily Erickson. Nice front 50 into the Andrecht. So when you're doing a blunt to fakie, and she did two variations of that, it's a really scary trick. Yes, the kickflip Indy! Wow. Count it. Count it. I mean, she was on her way there so, Amelia, I when the you, buzzer went did off. Did you see the necessary upgrades there? Yes, definitely. Jump back up. I mean, there were periods of time where she was maybe a bit slower, but seeing the blunt to fakie. And look, when you ollie out of that, you have to clear your front wheels. And it, the times when you don't clear your front wheels, I'm telling you that is a painful slam. So then when you're going fakie into it, that's like, you know, you're tempting fate there. But the poke on that stale fish, oh. so good. This is just so stylistically pleasing. Arissa loves it. Something about Hawaiian skaters. They just have great style. Wow, so a 71.66 for Lily Erickson. I would say what she can do better is maybe um, keep her speed. Definitely doing the kick turn after her really rad combo did not help her. So here's Coconut trying to put together a full run. There's the back nose grind. She is known for doing that one absolutely perfectly. Oh, just missing the kickflip bendy. You know, I'm actually surprised that she's going for the grab yeah. because she's also done just the straight backside kickflip in contests before with no grab, which is way more technical. And actually, she seems like she has that one way more dialed than the kickflip bendy. It's kind of an uncharacteristic start to Coconut's X Games here today because she's just so precise most contests and is almost always on the podium. And right now she's sitting in eighth, just trying to put together a full pull. So we move on to Ruby True, sitting in fifth place. I like that y'all are airing this on Twitch for those who don't have cable or an antenna. The X Games is all one show, B-Buddy, 2-5. We Beautiful. everywhere, we out there. Here now, Ruby, 30 seconds. The way she did that backsmith through the corner was absolutely the way you would like a backsmith to look. Oh, oh wow. wow. And the front rock slide. It was beautiful, Brandon. That's like one of the best things I've ever seen. Wow, and the front 50 on the extension and into the sad plant. Oh, just oh, no, missing Ruby. the back nose grind. Oh, that had the makings of a really great run. Ruby True was on one, Amelia. Oh, I know. I, I hope she puts together the next one. But honestly, just that the way that she does the backsmith and the way she does that front rock slide, those two things in and of themselves are just such a I, treat to look at. I oh. tell you the truth, when I audibly gasped, 
Just so much good skateboarding from Ruby True. Everything was executed so perfectly. Just unable to close it out. So she improves upon her score, but not the standings. A 65 for Ruby. So here now, our defending gold medalist, Arissa True, on her quest to repeat double gold as she did in 2023, starts right now. She just has those so dialed. You can see her spotting her landing and like getting speed out of it. Woo! Picking up some change on the top deck there, but getting the 50-50. Arissa is the truth. I see what you did there. Okay, this combo is so technical. It's like a trick on top of three tricks. Last 10 for Arissa. Oh, yes, yes, yes. and the backflip revert. Oh my there gosh, she goes. no. Way. Oh Cab frontside no slide revert. I, I'm speechless. The level of technicality in those tricks is so high. No one else in this, the, this field is doing anything close to that, Brandon. The game done changed on She's, run number two, thanks to Arissa True. Wow, she is not messing around. And she went switch. Oh my gosh. She, honestly, she had it all. She had amplitude. She had speed. She had a five. She had technical lines. She had this crook fakie right into the switch backside air, right into the G twist. Wow. This is as technically sound a run as we've ever seen in Women's Skateboard Park. Courtesy of the 14 year old Arissa True. <laughs> Christian Hosoy loving it. 87.33 for Arissa as she jumps up into gold medal position. Wow. What a moment for Arissa, and we're not done yet. More from Women's Park when we return after this. in just a little bit, but right now, we've got to talk about what Arissa True just did to this Sonic Park course on run number two, Amelia. That just blew my mind. I can't even believe it. It was so technical. Technical after technical after technical trick and line. Yeah, maybe the best we've ever seen on the ladies' side here in this park event. And uh, well, let's just go right to it. Jason Rothmeyer, our head judge, I'd love to just hear your thoughts, Jason, on what you guys saw from Arissa's last run. I mean, it's combo after combo after combo, right? Like, and then she added in back lip revert and the front half cap front nose slide, which is something new that we didn't see yesterday. So, yeah, it's 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 a lot. It's it's hard to beat. So hard to beat that she currently has an 11 point lead, Jason. Right. <laughs> um, I think uh, Lily Erickson's got a shot. Um, that kickflip indie came after time, so that would bump her up there if she can get if you can squeeze that in there because the, her little line with the, the blunt faking and the half cap blunt is really good. So. A yeah. little bit of leeway there. We'll look for that. Thank you, Jason. We know you've got a contest to call, yep. as do we. So uh, let's get back to it on the Sonic Park course. So there you hear it. I mean, I don't know what else can be done. I will tell you something that is very surprising to me, perhaps the most surprising, is seeing Kokona Haraki in eighth place. Well, it's really tough when you don't land a full line. You know, we, yes. we didn't see her even get through half a run, which is, it's unfortunate. And it's really unlike Kokona. And I think that she's going to come in and land her run where it really counts, because she's only got one more shot at it. Well, here's a look at that Sonic Park course that the ladies will be putting it down for their third and final runs. And it should be noted, this is a little bit of an unorthodox course build that what we've seen in previous years at X Games. You know, yeah. yeah, leaving that one wall open for viewing is, it makes it harder to maintain your speed, but it's great for the audience. And so it adds a challenging element for the skaters. Well, someone who doesn't have any trouble maintaining speed, Yurin Fuji. 
Yeah, this is a really powerful run from her so far. I really hope she gets that five, because I want to see it in slow-mo. Oh, there it is! She puts Whoa. it down! It looked like she spun late. I, I can't even comprehend how that worked. She couldn't even help herself with oh, the mid-run oh, claim. Oh, Amelia! OK, she just did a lean to tail on the very corner of that quarter pipe. I what don't even understand. What is even happening? I, I don't know. I mean, OK, there were times where she got a little lost, but the save, the save was glorious. Love it. And any time you make your run in a contest, you know, you've got to be really happy with yourself. Yurine was skating on the edge that entire 45 second run, and it was her best run of the day. Yeah, she started off really fast. She has a good bag of tricks, good use of the course. Look at the way that she flips that. It almost looks alley ooped or something. Yeah. I just can't. Give me one more look. Oh. It, it looks like she goes straight up and then she flips and does the rest of the rotation. Oh it my just, gosh, our reaction. Oh. What is going on? That is nightmare fuel. <laughs> Holy moly. I don't look like that. Don't lie. A 71.33 for Yurine, and that puts her in fifth place. So no medal for Yurine today, but what a run to save her best for last. Yeah, I think if she would have gotten a cleaner landing on that beautiful five, then it would have set her up better for the rest of her run. She got lost in the middle there, and that's really important in part. you got to maintain your speed. Totally. Hinano Kasaki sitting in sixth place. See, like that, she landed the five, and she's got so much speed coming out of it. After Don't having trouble with that on her first run, she's been bolts the last two. <laughs> that is a beautifully executed saran wrap. And the body jar. You know, if that trick goes wrong and you clip your back wheels on the way in, you literally jar your body. And Amelia, it seems like she's getting more comfortable with the speed and pacing of this course as the contest goes on. Yeah, I feel like that's been a trick within itself, just maintaining your speed on this course. But here she goes. She did it. It was a full pull. She looks very happy with that. There weren't really any empty walls. It looked like she did a really good job piecing it all together. So it looks like Kasaki saving her best for third and final run. Take another look. She's also a winner of the 2021 Exposure Best Transition video part. That was the first time I saw her skate, and I was just really hoping that we would see more of her. So I'm stoked she got the X Games invite and really happy that she's in the finals right here. Demon S trying to improve upon that 69.66. She does just that, jumping all the way up into second place. Oh, well deserved. Absolutely. So here's Lily Stafasius, her third and final run. She won the Vert Attack event last year over in Sweden. And, you know, earning a goal and gold in that event is definitely a really big deal. So she's no stranger to the podium. She's got the beautiful finger flip lean to tail. Nice backside air. Going for a crail slide. Oh, yes, taking that lift slide through the corner. Last five seconds for Lily. Yes, yeah. the back nose one. OK. So sitting in that bronze medal position, Amelia, she looked like she wanted to really improve on the execution of that run. So we saw some similar trick selection, but all done a little bit better, you know, maintaining that line, maintaining that speed, and just trying to clean it up. She probably thought, you know, if it ain't broke, don't mm -hmm. fix it. Well, if you look at that distance, it's 78.66 is right in front of her with Kusaki, right? She's trying to best that 76.33. Spacey is having a great day.
showing out here this morning. So a 77.33, that's what I thought. A point better, so certainly her best of the day, but doesn't so pass up the bar the She's going to be sweating in that third place spot, morning, though, because this next skater <laughs> could definitely change the podium. But there's our leader, the technical wizard. Arissa has to wait and see if she'll be the last one to drop in, if it will be a victory lap or if she will have to reclaim gold. And a young lady who could certainly do just that and shake things up, Mizuho. Oh, massive kickflip indie by Mizuho. She did a kickflip frontside air in the best trick competition yesterday. Nice, varial. Okay, so already improving in terms of her trick selection. Definitely one that's good at maintaining her speed. Oh, no, just rolling out. Ah, oh, she will not be improving on that score. It looks like that, you know, whatever. 20 foot long frontside 50 50 was just not. The margin percent. of error is oh so thin in this contest, Amelia. Uh, and you could see she's beating herself up over it, but you know, this a is, lot to like from this run. This is only the beginning for her, so I hope she's not too hard on herself and goes out and enjoys riding her skateboard after this. Yeah, by the way, you're still just 13 years old. <laughs> That's right. Go have a good time. You're at the X Games. So unfortunately, Mizuho will stay in fourth place. Okay, we turn our attention now to Lily Erickson, who not that long ago was leading this contest, Amelia, and now she's sitting in fifth. I wonder if she could knock on the door of the podium and at least get in the third if she can maintain that speed. Yeah, she's the last combo. one that can shake up the podium, it should be noted. So if she could squeeze in that kickflip indie with this half cap blunt fakie. Yes, awesome, I'm glad she didn't change that run. Nice, right into the L twist, I love that combo. Oh, here we go, she did a backside air, that's better than her last yes. run. She did a kick turn there. That's stale fish. So styly. Oh. That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> okay, getting the Andrex. She on one. Backside air. All right, she's got a couple seconds left. I know she wants that kickflip in the. Fulfill the dream, the Lily. Oh! I count it, I count it, I count, I count it. Too. I count okay, it. I count it too. We don't make the rules, but we can say whatever we want. Um, We're on TV. We can say whatever we want. <laughs> That's a really good point. I'm counting it. Okay, that still was better than her last run. You know, there's a lot to be said too for after Black Hammers. <laughs> yeah, that's, look. Jason, Jason Rothmeyer and it, the crew Jason, is thinking it. about this right now. Oh, it was so well done. Jason, come on, you gotta okay, count Okay, okay, no, let's, let's get down to brass tacks. If that's counted, as we think it should be, where does that put Lily Erickson? Oh, gosh. Ooh, I say at least third, in my opinion, like a, like a 78.2. Well, the score just oh. came in, and it's not uh. that. 73.33. My guess is they probably didn't count that. You know, this is why I'm not a judge. It's too hard. It's okay. Too hard. So our last three skaters to drop in, potentially here, Kokono Haraki, sitting in eighth, just looking to put down a run. But if she puts one down that she's capable of, Amelia, it could be a medal. It could be a medal. But can she do it? The kick will be Yes! She's got it this time. Nice, lean the tail. Let's see if she can keep her speed up. Oh, gap, front nose grind, two lip slide. That is super technical. It's like three tricks in one. Nice, front side Smith grind through the corner. Making the wheel streak on that front tail. Back disaster. Backside Ollie. Oh, just kind of ran out of time, unfortunately, on the sub box. That's going to affect her because, you know, when your last trick is technically just the backside 50 50, yeah. that's really not the kind of stamp that you want to leave your run with. What have you done for me lately? The judges want to see what you do right out the gate and how you close it out. 
certainly her best run of the day. Definitely her best run of the day. I mean, the kickflip mini is definitely going to make a big difference. This I mean, gap front nose grind to lip. Yes. Love it. Love it. So technical. When the dust settles, she's knocking out that 30.66. That's for sure. A 68.33. So she does move up one spot. Wow, two years in a row she's missed the podium here. Very unlike Kokona. But, you know, this this course, is it's tricky to map out the timing. She's not the only one who's had an issue with maintaining speed and then therefore planning out your line accordingly. So here's Ruby True. Third and final run for her. Sitting in eighth place. If Ruby puts it together, it could definitely knock on the door of the podium. Her style goes such a long way. So many blocks barking on that back 50. Something about surfers. They've always got such a great style when they skate. It's oh. not fair. It's not oh fair, gosh. Amelia. I just want to see her do that over and over and over again. The front rock slide through the corner. Oh, nice. 50-50 on the sub box. Oh, and that's sad plant. Oh, my gosh. That is the way that you want to do it. And that... Oh, my gosh. Back nose grind. One more. Best run so far. One more. I know she wants a McTwist. Can she do it? Okay, front side invert. <laughs> front side invert is a very sick trick. That was a really great line. What a run for the 15-year-old X Games rookie, Ruby True. She is happy with that one. It's interesting to me that she took the McTwist out of her line that she did in uh, qualifiers, but this is, it's way more technical, you know? She's focusing on lip tricks. She knows that this is a park contest and lip tricks are way more important. Oh my God, that backsmith though, it's so great. Oh, yes. Poetry, poetry. To be this talented, this young, on the world's biggest stage. A star in the making, Ruby True. Welcome to the X Games, a 78. And she gets up to the bronze medal on her final run. Yep, that makes sense, that makes sense. Oh my, oh. what a moment for Ruby True. Wow, to go from your first time at X Games to the podium, so impressive. And I think we're seeing Arissa up on the roof. <laughs> By the way, Ruby was in eighth place prior to getting to the bronze. This is a victory lap for Arissa True, defending her goal. You know, she did this last year where her victory lap was better than her first place run, technically. It's like she's competing against herself. She just wants to keep pushing oh. and progressing. And you gotta love that. The 540 right into the back three. Going up on the sub box. Oh, just not making it, but you know what? It's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because she has absolutely dominated this competition today. Here's the thing, Amelia. There's nothing above first place because that's all she could go to. Arissa True gets another gold medal, the third X Games gold medal for the 14-year-old. Wow. You know, we wondered with Vert Best Trick, where she wasn't able to land her trick and didn't end up on the podium, if that was gonna have any impact on her today. And that certainly wasn't the case. Just everything was so textbook, getting that 540 right out the gate. You wanted tech, you wanted NAR, you wanted things that you just don't see on the park course from the ladies in this discipline. Arissa True delivered when it mattered most. And she left no doubt about it from run two on, took the lead and never looked back. And Amelia Brodka, who I thought was just sitting next to me, is somehow handing her a gold medal. Let's head over to Mitch, who's with Arissa. Arissa. You've done it again, amazing second run, and you basically closed the show with that second run. Thank you. Trevor said you had a 
third run that was going to do something else, but it didn't matter. Talk to me about that f second run and how it went down. My second run started pretty good, and then I did my five, and I got to the ledge, and it went a bit sketchy, but I still ended up landing it, and then I finished my run, and I was really happy. Okay, last X Games, you walked away with two gold medals. You're halfway there, but in this moment now, this is all that matters. And why is X Games, with all the events we have going on, why is this so important to you? Because X Games is really fun, and I think it's like the funnest event. Arissa, thank you for always creating, at 14, 15 years of age, skateboarding moments and skateboarding history. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone, make some noise for Arissa True. Fun, fun, fun. That's what we do here at X Games. Take fun seriously. And Arissa True doing it the right way. No better way to start off day three of X Games. But coming up next, R. Willie v. Kevin Peraza battling the best at the Dave Mira BMX Park Best Trick. All that after this message and a word from our ABC stations.